Fortnite Island and experience creators, get ready to revolutionize your island designs with a deep dive into UEF and its latest features. To access the new devices, go to the content browser and within the Fortnite folder, go to devices and open the new early access folder. In this folder, you'll find the fixed point camera device, the fixed angle camera device, and the third person controls device. We'll start by adding the fixed angle camera device to our scene. Unlike the fixed point camera device, the fixed angle camera device doesn't need to be placed at any particular point or area and will automatically attach to the player. Fixed angle cameras move with the player, remaining in a locked angle and giving them a consistent perspective. They can offer various viewpoints, such as top-down, side-scrolling, or isometric angles, giving players a consistent visual reference as they navigate through the game. You can use a single or multiple fixed angle cameras that can then be enabled and disabled throughout your game or level. Configure this device with the following options. Priority determines which device takes priority when multiple devices are active. When placing a device, the default priority is zero, which is the lowest priority assignment. Any device with a higher priority number, one and above, will override devices with a lower priority. Add to player start refers to viewing from the camera at the start of a level or adding it to the player through their interaction with devices. Enable during phase determines when the camera device should initially trigger. Let's start by setting our field of view and our camera distance. The field of view or FOV determines how much or little the camera can see at a given angle or distance. That said, setting your FOV too high can result in distorting your images. While a low FOV can result in a camera that the player can't see things or enemies around them. Distance determines how far back the camera is from the player. While angle pitch rotates your camera up or down and angle you or rotates your camera left or right. The fixed angle camera view normally centers on its target, so the offset is how far from the center the camera view is. The camera can have an offset amount on the X, Y, or Z axis, and on more than one axis at a time. While fixed angle cameras can dynamically move or hide objects obscuring the player from the camera, when determining your camera's distance, angle pitch, and angle U, it's still important to take into account the room or area's ceiling or roof height as well as different obstacles or areas in your level that may appear higher or lower than the camera, but within the camera's view. Horizontal and vertical speed refer to the speed the camera will move horizontally or vertically to frame the player. When you're using multiple camera devices, a transition controls the image change as you move from one camera view to another. There are four different transition types. Linear, in which the camera view shifts cleanly from one camera to the next, at a constant pace between frames. Ease in, which makes the transition start slowly then gain speed. Ease out, which slows down the transition before it stops. And lastly, ease in out, which slows down the start of the transition, then speeds it up. Transition in and out priority determines how the camera behaves when activated or deactivated. While transition in and out time determines the time and seconds to transition from or to the camera's perspective. The bone collision properties determine the behavior of that camera when an object in the scene gets between the camera and its target. The bone collision type are Instant, which pulls the camera in instantly when line of sight from the camera to player is broken. Predictive, which pulls the camera in over time when line of sight from the camera to player is broken. And transparency, which makes objects that obscure the target invisible when line of sight is broken. Collision in and out time determines how fast or slow the camera in and out when using predictive collision. Collision transparency determines how transparent or opaque objects are when line of sight from the camera to the player is broken, with zero being completely transparent and one being completely opaque. And lastly, collision cutout size determines how large an area the render affects. The boundaries are predefined points beyond which the camera will not move. This setting is ideal for side-scroller games, where boundaries are often placed at the edges of the screen. When the player reaches these zones, the camera doesn't move further until the player advances. Once a player moves beyond a certain point, the camera's boundary might restrict them from returning, focusing on the forward movement through the level design. Dead zone refers to an established area within which the player character can move around without affecting the camera. When the player moves to an edge of the dead zone, the camera will move to follow the target. 
functions refer to all the actions that we can trigger through other devices in your level. For example, in our Metal Gear example game, we use the functions to disable the fixed angle camera and the third person controller. In certain areas, the player will need to explore 